Another piece of antique uh, blue willow, uh, considerably younger than the last piece we've just videoed and shown you. This is uh, John Tam's earthenware. Now, earthenware, you say you look at this, you think, looking at the thickness, it's going to be an ironstone plant. But you can tell as soon as you pick it up that it's not got the weight of the pearlware or the ironstone, the earlier pieces and the later pieces. Obviously, ironstone continue to be made, but this is very much different in its structure. Has got most incredible glaze pattern here and I mean I know a lot of you will look at that and think oh it's really badly stained but this is this is textured it's it's part of what's happened to this plate when it's been in the kiln and these are soot marks and inclusions that have been fired in it's got these characteristic triple pot stand marks here which are where it was supported in the kiln. But just look at that, it's obviously been right in the vented part of the fire and the glaze has taken on all this soot and uh, gubbins out of that uh, kiln. Part of its pattern, now this is 1890s China. I mean, they, they perfected firing uh, in both uh, coke-fired kilns and uh, coal-fired kilns by this stage. but. Uh, they still had issues, they'd have collapses, they'd have blockages, they'd have uh, uneven flows through them and sometimes these would make it through if the surface was good, like this one is, onto the market and not end up in the uh, the scrap pile by the side of the kiln. So it shows its production process, it shows its age. How do we know it's by, uh, by TAMS? Well, again, there are clues in this plate on the front and if you know what you're looking for and you break these down into the key elements you can start to recognize certain key differences in the pattern that was used across these uh, dinner plates and if you're comparing like for like which is always important same size same age um, then you can start to identify them by the actual patterns and we're pretty confident on our uh, AI searches that this has all the elements of the factory that we're assigning it to. And the key elements here that we've we've looked at are the shape of the, the ferryman here, this section of the picket fencing on this section here, the layout of the uh, tree design with the symbol temple on the island on the far bank, and the, the moss mounds, the way these are broken down in the pattern. That and the design of the birds and the number of branches or uh, segmented layers on the main tree here. They're all very different if you start looking at different willow plates and this one we're pretty confident is by the factory we've assigned it to on the date range that we said. But it's one of the few factories, you know, you have a big clue, it's earthenware. So I mean that, that rules out nine tenths of the production of willow china from this period now if you'd like to find out more information about this dinner plate uh, click on the description link below it'll take you through to the vintage and antiques china website where we are listing this for sale and we ship internationally from the uk so if you're an international collector looking for something a little bit special in blue willow and some antique dinner plates we've got a lovely selection currently on catalogue thanks for watching